we had Lamar Jackson, we would have won that game against them Cincinnati Bengals. First question came from my guy, Julius B. He said, hey, Graven, thanks for all the content. As always, keep doing your thing. Appreciate it, JB. He said, you know, I'm really disappointed in our players saying that if we had Lamar, we would have won. Even if it's true, like, what type of message you think Snoop and Anthony Brown are taking from that? Granted, they're both undrafted free agents, and AB is a rookie, and they both haven't performed up to Action Jackson's level, but... It shows the players never really believed in Brown nor Huntley. It's like the team knows Huntley is not trying to take Lamar's spot because they are homies. So they'll go out there and try to win with Huntley. When Anthony Brown is out there, different story. Anthony Brown isn't worried about Lamar. He's trying to get the job. Also very odd that they, would, uh, that they said we would see Anthony Brown and never did. Mind games. Come on, baby. It's mind games. It's Ravens minds games. You know, they don't stop playing those anyway. Um, he said when they asked John what it would take to see Anthony Brown, John paused like he wanted to answer, but like always jumped around it. See, in in game, the in game interview, if that's what you're talking about, like, I don't expect him to be like, all right, this is what it's gonna take for us to see Anthony Brown in this game. Nah, he ain't gonna do that all day. I mean, he he don't do it before the game. He certainly gonna ain't gonna do it during the game. Uh he said, even Deshaun Jackson said it's too much politics in the locker room. Think on that. I say that to say if the offense played for Anthony Brown like they do for Huntley. Maybe they win. If they play Anthony Brown, maybe Dobbins gets his carries. Receivers and tight ends are effectively used, but politics say play Huntley because the players still want Lamar, and they know Huntley isn't intentionally going to get in the way of that. So you, you think Huntley would, like, play bad just so the Ravens keep Lamar? No, no. Look, Huntley and Lamar, they are cool. They friends, they tight, all that good stuff. This is also a business. If Huntley goes out there, Huntley balls out, he does his thing. That could help him out with him getting an opportunity, whether it be in Baltimore, whether it be in somewhere else, for a starting job, possibly. So he could be in somebody's camp next year, and they could have saw what he did and be like, oh, okay, hey, this guy Huntley. Maybe we send the Ravens a little something, see if we get Huntley on our roster, even if it's just to compete. Because they wouldn't send anything crazy like a, a, a third-round pick or higher. Maybe a fourth, but maybe like a fifth or something like that. Probably like, a, yeah, I think it'll start around a fourth, possibly. Um, but Huntley ain't going to hold back to be like, oh, no, Lamar, this should No, because this past season, it was Lamar's team. Last season, it was Lamar's team. I can't say for the future. I, I can't, but... Huntley is not going to be like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to play as good as I possibly can because I know this is Lamar's team. No, what good would that do, Huntley? And what good would that do the team? It just it wouldn't make any sense to me. Anyway, he said, either way, the team should not be saying publicly that we could have won with Lamar. If I was the, the backup, either one of them, I would feel discredited. Your thoughts? I, I see what you're saying, but they are the backups, and they know they're the backups. Who are they the backups to? They're the backups to Lamar Jackson. And now I do see how you could feel like it could be sort of a, a slap in the face. Like, hey, man, like, we almost won and I was out there. And we've won some games with me. And, hey, but I, uh, it, I know it, it's tough, man. It, it's a very tricky situation. Um, so I, I, I get what you're saying um, with that whole thing and how they could feel like, man, like, <laughs> what about me? Uh, and he said, P.S., the whole time Lamar was out, the times I did see him on the sideline, he didn't have him on a headset, nor was he helping Huntley or Brown go over plays. He was more so joking and chilling. I don't know. And Huntley's still saying, yeah, Lamar, that's my boy. I know he is cheering me on. Yeah, because it is. Now, Lamar ain't a coach. Um, and, again, I guess Lamar was taking the Harbaugh approach. Cause Lamar like, hey, look, Harbaugh's a head coach. He ain't going to get in the way of the offensive coordinator what they do. I ain't going to get in the way of what the offensive coordinator and them do. Because that offensive coordinator is probably not going to be in the way of Baltimore anymore. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it. Gotta made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens. Like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean.
team, keep it clean. Welcome to another episode of Question from Subs. And boy, we got a lot to cover. And this is the very first episode of Question from Subs in the Ravens off season. Um, unfortunately, it did start a little bit earlier than we had hoped, but um, probably on pace where a lot of people thought it was going to go anyway. Because uh, after Lamar went out and Ravens officially made the playoffs, so many people say, hey, they're going one and done, and it ended up happening. There was no run. There was no magic. There was no miracles happening, anything like that. But hey, we're here now. So the off season, I mean, you thought the season was crazy? Oh yeah, the off season is about to get just so much crazier. Uh, but we'll see how things shake out. But anyway, what well, question from subs is a series where you can ask any question you want to and answer in a video like this. You wanna be part of it? Um, for the patrons, for the Team Keep It Clean patrons, and shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Shout out to y'all, because this is going to be episode filled with, with questions from patrons. But for the Team Keep It Clean patrons, you can send your question directly on Patreon. Uh, for everybody else, you can send an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com. Uh, don't, don't send it anywhere else. Don't, don't, because it ain't going to be part of question. If you send it anywhere else, then, hey, that's on you. Um, we do have... Later on in another episode, we do have some questions that we had originally did. Uh, but then we accidentally deleted it, which was very frustrating, but hey, it happened. So we'll get to those because those questions were asked before the playoff game and whatnot. But you'll see how people, their, their thought process was before the playoff game. And I'm sure after it didn't even change. But anyway, next question came uh, from another Team Keep It Clean patron, my guy Plex. Uh, who's been a patron for four months. Oof, my guy been a patron for a little while. So he said, Plex right, Plex wrong. Colin Coward does this segment every week where he reflects on predictions he made and states whether he was right or wrong. I'm going to do that with the things I said during the season. Where Plex was right, I knew going into the season with four receivers under contract was a recipe for disaster. Then we brought in three receivers who were cut. Robinson, Isabella, and Sammy. And another who was out of the league completely, Deshaun Jackson. I need a legit reason for why. <laughs> <laughs> Why that happened? We liked our guys isn't enough. Hey, Ooh, yeah, we could talk about that one all day because that's the same thing we were saying, but yeah, let's keep going. He said, uh, where Plex was wrong, Kyle Hamilton came a long way from the beginning of the season. I called him can't get right. They found a role for him to star in. That role is football player. They put him in a slot. They put him at linebacker, put him at edge, let him run the box. They don't put him anywhere near deep coverage, though. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's something he gets better at But his overall progression has been good Spot on You, you are certainly right about that Where Plex was right uh, Gregory pushing P. Roman <laughs> Where Plex was wrong Mike McDonald turned out alright He grew throughout the season too I still don't like this soft coverage we play We're not giving up huge plays But teams dink and dunk their way down the field We can't get off the field on third down either Yeah that, that had been a problem too By the end of the game He said but by the end of the game We've only given up around 20 points And the defense at least has given us a chance to win That side of the ball should be solid next season Yeah yeah this Could be some personnel changes Some retirement Some guys leaving But we'll see uh, where Plex was right, this training staff is abysmal. Players being out longer than anticipated, coming back too soon, and being re-injured. If I were on the team, I would get a second and third opinion on any diagnosis the team gave me. My bone could be sticking out my leg and i still go see another doctor just to make sure it's actually broken. My goodness, uh, we're the la or the last few weeks... Uh, a chaotic state of affairs. A lot of what happened could have been avoided with, we believe Lamar sustained a near grade three PCL spring. If all goes well, we are hopeful to have him available for the playoffs, if not sooner. Boom. Boom. Instead, nothing was said until Lamar had to tweet about the situation. Uh, had something from the team been released sooner, most of the media speculations wouldn't have happened. Boom. Spot on. You, you a thousand percent right. Uh, he said, to be determined. Harbaugh in the front office. I still want everybody going. Blow it all up. This offseason is crucial. These next six months are going to determine the next five years. It's doubtful, but I hope a competent OC is brought in. I hope Lamar is signed long term. I hope we make real investments into wide receivers. There are other things that I have concerns about, but we have all offseason to talk about it. Yes, we do. Next question came from my guy Calm City. He said, uh, we absolutely can. And I'm sorry for the woe is me thing this week. The thing that hurts most is when I watch your videos, we need change. Even in my Madden leagues, I can run and play defense right, but passing is a major part of football. We lose today. I'm not against major coaching changes at every level. We have to stand up and at the end of the ball and say, no, our voices do matter. Long winded, sorry, we should should we sign Lamar? Uh, shouldn't even really be a real question. Management is failing us as fans. D Hop should be the main focus. And after the Brink truck pulls up on Lamar, what are we doing? No one should be safe. Not EDC. Not even Poe. Not even Poe, buddy. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it's uh, I know the D Hop is like that. Yeah, that would be cool, but. Yeah, they, they got to worry about that quarterback situation before they even thinking about a uh, receiver. Next question came from my boy Jason E.G., and he's been a patron for five months. He said, it's time for everyone to take a step back. Team Keep It Clean, I know we all saw the game and more than likely feel the same way, but I truly think a little bit of distance is needed now. And John Harbaugh is the main one making me say this. That man is clearly tired. Uh, a head coach has to answer for every facet of a football team, and this season may have just brought Harbaugh to his saturation limit. I said before, the Ravens have allowed far too much outside noise to affect their house. And this offseason will be much of the same noise. So take a break, gain some clarity, fire Greg Roman, go on vacation. And you see how he slipped that in there? Fire Greg Roman. Wait, they, they don't got to fire him because his contract is up. Um, that's what we've been saying all season. The contract is up. So they ain't even got to let him go. But anyway, go on vacation and reset your mental state. Come back, get Lamar's deal done, give up them picks for D. Hopkins, and draft wisely. Ooh. That's <laughs> Ooh. Three of those things I don't think are going to happen, but we'll see. Anyway, he said, there's nothing wrong with taking a step back. Enjoy the season of Team Keep It Clean. If the Ravens move wisely, we'll be right back. Yes, they, they can be. And Ravens, like, they're close. But like far all at the same time. Uh, anyway, he said one last thought. I can say that I can say this now the day after the post uh, absorbing every opinion and take for, coming from everywhere possible. But I'm OK with the loss. So when under those circumstances would have just given the front office a false sense of everything possible. Now that the offseason has officially begun, the Ravens can no longer run from their self-inflicted wounds and in-house issues. You they can. not You sure? I mean, Ravens can find a way now. Don't Hey, they can find a way. But he said it all has to be confronted. I know the end of the season presser will be most likely a bunch of fluff. Boom. Uh, but after they fire Roman, <laughs> he keeps slipping it in there. But after they fire Roman and Harbaugh takes a vacation, internal purging has to begin. Again, Team Keep It Clean, it's been a pleasure to go through this season with y'all. Hey, appreciate it, Jason. Next question came from my guy, Matthias, who's been a Team Keep It Clean patron for about a month. He said, what's good and great? I just, I just had a positive potential eureka moment. Now, everyone is making a giant ordeal about Lamar not traveling with his team to Cincinnati. I didn't think it was a big deal. Uh, he, he said, but I'm wondering if he decided not to travel with his guys, not only because of his knee. Because, yeah, apparently uh, when you fly, it's bad for the swelling. If you got swelling in your legs or your knee, then flying is not good for it. But anyway, uh, but to not take away spotlight from his guys who are grinding to try to advance in the playoffs. I think if he would have went and sat on the sidelines, the cameras would have panned to that man 30 times, LOL. Now, probably about 38 times. Uh, and he said, what do you think about this plausible situation? Thank you for all the videos this season. I'm excited for this all season. Uh, when I get the YouTube note <laughs> that engraving reported on the Ravens, trading for D-Hop and re-signing Lamar, I'm going to jump for joy. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, yeah, hey, we'll see. But I, I appreciate it, Matthias. Um, yeah, that, that could be it. That could be a part of it. I, I, I think that it might be a part of it, but um, it could have just been to play it safe, man. Play it safe with again with the injury with the leg injury um since it's lamar i know uh lamar is treated differently than a lot of other quarterbacks or really a lot of other players in general I remember when ronnie stanley there was some times where he didn't travel with the team um and nobody was like oh man ronnie stanley's not a team player he doesn't care about the team but i know because it's lamar a lot of people think different next question well more so common came from my guy juan g he said gonna send you a video that puts the lamar contract talk to bed uh, the video that he sent was um, the Marlon Humphrey video where Marlon Humphrey was talking about how Lamar um, had been limping around a facility and he just was like maybe at 50, 60 percent and he wouldn't have been able to go. Uh, he said, hope all is, is going well and great. love the content when I want to hear something positive and productive um, about the team. No crying from sore loser fans bashing their home team. <laughs> no, man. Um, Ra Ravens. Look, we love the Ravens. We love the team. We love talking about them. Uh, we talk about the good, we talk about the bad, we're going to talk about everything. Uh, so what, what I appreciate, what I, what I enjoy doing with the Baltimore Ravens is talking, about, talking honestly about them. Yeah, hey, they do some things great. They do some things not so great. So we're going to talk about it all, but with respect. All right, next question came from another Team Keep It Clean patron, Graylin, who's been a patron for four months. He said, I ain't Graylin, hope your family, you and your family are having a great start to this week ahead of us, but hey, we are. I appreciate it. I uh, just want to know, how do you think Marlon Humphrey's press conference will affect those that thought Lamar was sitting out because of the contract? Um, I, I, think, I think it'll depend on what people want to believe. I like, because if you feel a certain way about something, you can hear whatever about it from whoever speaks on it 
and you could still feel the exact same way. Or, hey, if somebody could persuade you enough, then you could be like, oh, okay, well, maybe I'll think about it in a different way. So, I mean, it all depends on somebody's mindset. Next question came from my guy, Raven Pride, who's been a patron for a year. Appreciate you, man. He said, what's up, Engraven? It's your boy. And he sent this before the game. We'll see if it makes a difference. Uh, he said, hope you and uh, the family are doing well. P.S. Tell Carter to keep up the good work. I appreciate that, man. He said, I just wanted to say this because it's bigger than football. Uh, yeah, it, it certainly is, man. Uh, he said, with that being said, I believe that Lamar's days as a Raven seem to be closing. You made a comment that I truly believe that I had also said all along that they are not totally willing to invest in Lamar. I'm seeing this also from another perspective. You and I see what Lamar has taken uh, many of his time to spend with kids who are dealing with some serious sickness. And when he is around, uh, then he completely puts a shine in their smile. Uh, what an impact this will have on the, those kids uh, who have come and wrapped their arms around this man with so much tears and joy. He has put out so much love and joy into all children from the sick bed to children walking in the street. So I asked. I ask you, what does this say about an organization who said they also have love for those young children? Two years have went by and a young player who has saved people's jobs isn't worth paying. How do you tell that child that Lamar is no longer a raven? I say this with true honesty. They never had a t intentions on paying him uh, for all that he has done. I say to the owner, you go tell these children that you have no intentions on keeping Lamar. God bless you, brother. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, the, hey, that's, that's part of uh, football is it's a business. It's a business. And yeah, with kids, kids are influenced by it and whatnot. And plenty of kids have met Lamar and they've been impacted by him and whatnot. Um, but business is it's business. It's a nasty business. It's a tough business. Um, it's an emotional business, but it is a business. So even with any kids that he done met, any fans of him that are Ravens fans too, the Ravens fans are just simply, I mean, Ravens, the franchise, the front office, I mean, they would just simply tell them, hey, if we move on, you got to as well. Next question came from my guy, Oscar. He said, hey, bro, this was after the game. He said, what I just witnessed is heartbreaking. I was thinking, just wait till next year when eight is back, when Cincinnati won. But then I realized he might not be here. Uh, they need to pay Lamar tonight. I'm writing this after the game. Get the man on FaceTime and pay him. And I'm not talking about a franchise tag. What do you think that is going to take? Do you think he wants to stay just processing all of this? Ah, my opinion. Um, do I think Lamar wants to stay? I think he would like to stay, but I really think um, this is just my opinion. Um, I, I think the well has run dry. I think it's ran its course uh, as far as their relationship. Um and I know things could change, obviously, but I think he just sees it for what it is, man. Uh, you see what the Ravens have done, what they haven't done, um, things that have been said, things have been leaked, things that have not been said, things that have not been addressed uh, in timely fashion, things that could have been avoided and whatnot. And I just, I, I, I just don't see, I don't see it happening. Uh, between Lamar and the Ravens. I would love for it too. I would prefer that it does and, and they change a lot of their ways, but I I, I just, I, I don't see it. The next question came from another patron, my guy, Amari, who's been a patron for five months. He said, it's just sad how much we run our quarterback in short yard situations when we have a huge running back. <laughs> Speaking about Gus or Pat Ricard, and I mean, we also got J.K. Dobbins as well, but a short yardage, especially red zone short yardage, goal line stuff. <laughs> what do we need running backs for? The last question came from uh, my guy, Dominic, who's been a Team Keep It Clean patron for three months. Appreciate you, Dominic. He said, what's up, Engraven? Hope everything is good and well with you and the fam. After the ending to the season, I know we all see what JK had to say. With him saying that, I know he is not the only one that is thinking like that, and he wants Giro gone as well. And if we're being honest, I still think Lamar wrote those fire Greg Roman papers. So let's say they decide to keep Giro. How much of a slap in the face to everyone on that offense and how do the players react to that now let okay well that would uh i think if they kept greg roman um i think you'd have a couple people requesting traits uh i really do because this and this this ain't even been something that's new it, this is nothing that's new with the offense this, this has been going on for years man but i i think that there will be a couple people requesting traits uh, he said, now, let's say he's fired. I 100% think that if the Ravens want Lamar here for the long run, they need to let him have a say on the offensive coordinator job, in my opinion. What do you think? I, th I think that could be the case, um, just to give him more power, give him more, like, authority, control, so to speak, um, to, to, to have a say in what he wants. Um, because he's done what you've wanted for the past five years. Now it's time to flip the script, if 
You plan on keeping them. And I got to end this episode giving a special shout out to the newest Team Keep It Clean patron, my guy Anthony B. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. If any of y'all would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenviz. And if not, that's okay. Trust me, I still love you. But on that note, appreciate y'all watching this episode of Question from Subs. And we out. Yeah, this feels like a dream.